I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, something else. Um, all my friends back home that I've left. Uh, yeah, I do miss all you guys. I think about you all the time. Um, here I am. Uh, I've driven 5,000 kilometers. Um, that's not straight here. It's I don't know how many kilometers it is straight here, but I've driven 5,000 kilometers and I've been away for a month, just about a month now. And, uh, I just thought I'd uh, say thank you to everyone, all my friends back home, um, even my enemies. I've helped make them too. So, um, wanted to say like thank you to uh, Colleen for all she's done for me, the curtains and the and uh, all the the uh, pillows and um, just being so friendly to me all the time and. Uh, Thanks to Carol for the job, the experience with, um, with Dewey Sewing Center. Um, appreciate that very, very, very much. Most generous. Um, thanks to Kathy and, and uh, Donna and uh, special thanks to Brandy for sticking up, uh, st for putting up with me. <laughs> Not sticking up, but for putting up with me. I just wanted to give a special thanks to Brandy for putting up with with me and uh, being there sort of when I when I needed. We've all, we've had our differences, but we've always worked them out. And I didn't think there were such big differences at all, but uh, people perceive things differently. So uh, thanks to everybody at work. I know I've missed all of all of you. I'm, I've missed some of your your names and everything that you're not right now because I just can't think but um, thank you to to everybody um, thank you to uh, Darren for uh, helping me out on getting my my uh, van fixed up and ready to go and looking after the things he's looking after for me and he's uh, he's going for a hip operation shortly here on June the 1st so I hope everything turns out good for him and uh, like I said I appreciate his help very 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 much um, thank you to uh, Don for inspiring me and and uh, giving me some insight on what he thought I should do the best things I should do and uh, John um, helping me out as much as he could uh, purchased a um, one of my dad's pieces of art uh, I hated to part with that piece it was a beautiful piece of art um, I know I know that whoever it went to will appreciate it as much as I did and the value of it is not necessarily what makes the piece of art a piece of art um, so thank you, John. Uh, and just thanks to everyone for, uh, understanding and, uh, trying to put up with an old guy who really didn't know what he was doing at times. <laughs> and, uh, I've met a couple of nice people along the way. I've met Duncan in, uh, I forget where we've met now. Uh, Thunder Bay, that's right. We've met in Thunder Bay, and uh, he's a he's a pretty good friend. I really didn't consider myself as a like real religious person. I never have. Um, maybe he isn't either, but he's a, a lot more religious than I am, and he brings some uh, some thoughts to to my mind and uh, uplifting and uh, he was a he was a good person um, I hope I can meet up with him again and uh, like even today there was this lady that knocked on my window and 
I'm not too sure of her name. Uh, she she said her name, and I said my name, and I, I'm not very good at names, but I I think she kept mentioning Fran, and I she knows who she is. So she's knocked on my window and wanted to compliment me on my my van. She knew more about this van than a lot of men do. What kind of engine it had, and and uh, what great shape it's in and uh, she talked to me for I would say it must have been an hour standing outside my van talking to me and telling me all kinds of stories and uh, where I should go and where she has friends in British Columbia and Alberta and um, asking me all kinds of questions and it was just great to meet people like that that are interested uh, in in what I have here. I could have sold this van three times over already from people on the East Coast here. Um, they're just interested in this thing and they all said you better keep it, you better keep it, don't sell it. But they were still interested enough that they they would have bought it in a second if I would have wanted to sell it. So uh, anyways I'm still sitting here in Charlottetown Prince Edward Island, and I've been to uh, Anne of Green Gables, which was a, I've never read the book. All I've heard just was stories about Anne of Green Gables. I, not even stories, I just heard the name, Anne of Green Gables. But when I was driving down the highway, I read somewhere on a sign, Anne of Green Gables, so I had to go and see what this was all about. I put it on a video, I'm going to upload it here in the next day or so. And, um, I went to a place called Basin Head Beach is where it's called the Singing Sand. And what you do is when you walk on it or shuffle your feet on it, it makes a noise, like squeaking noise or squealing noise. And uh, how it does that, so the scientists figure, is that um, it's made out of silica and quartz and what have you and it's perfectly round. Uh, and when you do walk on them, they slip on each other, and that's what creates the sound. So it was right at the Atlantic Ocean, almost the farthest east you could make it on, on Prince Edward Island. And uh, so I put my feet in the ocean, and I've completed goal number one, was to put my feet in the Atlantic Ocean, the farthest east that I could possibly go. Uh, not necessarily northward. I could have been to Newfoundland, but um, it's snowing there still, believe it or not. And I think it cost like $500 to go there and back. And I'm trying to live minimally on a, um, a meager income of old age security and CPP. And the government doesn't pay you very much. And then they tax you on top of that. So. I'm trying to live on that, so my budget just didn't handle, or can't handle that. So, um, uh, even like Prince Edward Island, there's a there's this longest bridge, the uh, Confederation Bridge. It's the longest uh, bridge that goes over iced water. I think it's the Chinese that have the longest bridge, which is 165 kilometers long. This one here is 12.9 kilometers long, but it's the longest in the world that goes over uh, ice-covered water. In the summer, it's water. In the winter, it's ice. And uh, believe it or not, when I came, when I went across it from the mainland to the island, I'd cleaned my camera and everything, and I took out all the uh, the uh, cards from it, the um, memory cards, and yeah, I can snap away pictures all day long, but it's not saving them anywhere. So uh, I turned out that I, even my video that I was taping as I was coming across the bridge, there was absolutely nothing. When I got to edit it that night, there was absolutely nothing on the on the cameras. So when I got to the other side. I uh, stopped for a minute, put the uh, uh, the uh, cards back in the cameras, and then carried on, and then made.
made more video from that side took up my drone flew it up to, to have a look at this bridge how really long it looks it's just an incredible feat of engineering uh, I think they said it was something in them on the video I said they they estimated 840 million dollars to to make it and it went over budget of course like everything does and it was a billion dollars and uh, it's just a two-lane highway and you travel 80 miles an hour or 80 kilometers an hour on it and uh, you can't walk across it I mean you could walk across it but they don't allow that uh, and they don't allow you to ride bicycles across you can take a motorcycle across or a shuttle or uh, a vehicle of some sort and you pay 40 some odd dollars almost 50 dollars to uh, to go back to the mainland it costs you nothing to come this way over to the island but it costs you money to go home <laughs> uh, so <laughs> lost my train of thought there for a moment um, so anyway my biggest thing was to just to say thank you to to everyone back home you all know who you are and I've had some uh, inspiration from people that have lived on this part of the world uh, Linda's lived here uh, at Shediac uh, she said she uh, her her children were born in Moncton so she gave me a few ideas and places to go unfortunately I left there and I had, couldn't make it to those places and then the lady that uh, knocked on my window today that had a talk with me, she gave me a bunch more places to go. And I, for, I, I you hear about these things on radio and TV and stuff, but when you get here, I forget all about them. Uh, the highest tides in the world happen at, I forget the name of the place right now, but I'm going to try to take that in and go and, and, and check this out. And uh, unfortunately, I just don't like seafood that much like lobster and crab and, and uh, even just uh, regular fish. I don't, I don't even eat trout. I, I love fishing. I, I usually go fishing to a lake where you, uh, you put them back in, let them live a little bit longer and let someone else catch them. Um, that's not to say I don't like trout. I love trout. I love, tra I love salmon. I just don't eat it that much. So uh, seafood, I just, um, it just... I don't know what it is. I just don't like it that much. I'll eat it, but I just don't prefer it. I'll rather go get a steak or something if I can, if I can eat something. Uh, so, regardless, this was supposed to be a non-stop video, unedited, uncut, um, which it is so far. In case I. Uh, bump into something and lose all train of thought completely this happens to, it's turned out to be a nice sunny afternoon it was raining all day today it started last night so I just sort of stayed indoors most of the time it didn't do too much outside and I think I'll go from here uh, there might be a couple more places to visit yet and then after that I think I'm back to um, Nova Scotia uh, and uh, look at a few things there uh, Halifax we'll go, try Halifax we'll go to uh, more places there's more to do here than there is on the way uh, when I was coming here when I first started out it was like uh, you know Swift Current Moose Jaw Regina Winnipeg you know and, and you just drive to the next place and, and what do you do when you get there um, I've lived in in Regina and I lived I was born in in uh, Swift Current I uh, went to Moose Jaw lots uh, been uh, lived in Regina been to Winnipeg um, that's the farthest east I have been and now uh, this is the farthest east I will ever be is um, uh, on the Prince Edward Island and uh, this part of the country is is uh, beautiful it's just incredibly beautiful um, I haven't seen any here but a lot of people say the mountains this the mountains that well I don't know if they know what mountains are to me mountains are like British Columbia 
jagged pointy things um, here they're like large hills like uh, not even as large hills as, as uh, Kelowna I used to live in Kelowna and there they have large hills they're not even mountains to me anymore um, but here they're just they're smaller large hills <laughs> and uh, they say go to Mount so-and-so and, and uh, I don't know I just I just don't see the mountains right here on Prince Edward Island it's just uh, incredible with the, uh, the the farmers that are here I, I don't know what they're growing but they're all it's already starting to come up and the ground is really a reddish color like a rust I don't know what uh, creates the the color but the rolling hills are just incredible I should have taken my drone up in a lot of places and as I'm driving along I'm thinking of this but it's I think it's because I I haven't lived in my van long enough to understand that this is my home it's on wheels and I can stop anywhere I want to and do whatever I whatever I want to I'm still treating this as a holiday and I have to get from one place to the next and I have to I have to slow down not necessarily slow down as going somewhere but I have to slow my pace down um, and 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 take yes yeah, yeah sure take my time getting to different places and what have you but um, I've still got so much to see I could stay here for a whole year just uh, checking everything out around here but I have got to come back to Alberta um, I found that uh, my friend that's looking after my mail for me has, says hey you have a, a one piece of mail here and it's from the Medicine Hat police <laughs> and I thought no uh, I kinda knew that was gonna happen you know that I I knew I was gonna get a ticket while I was still there so he sends me a picture and yeah I was in Medicine Hat I got a speeding ticket cost me a hundred and nine dollars so I was going 41 in a 33 or uh, I guess in a 30 or what have you but I, I was doing 41 so I've, I've got to pay for that and uh, I just absolutely knew that that was going to happen though so uh, that's not welcome news at all especially when you're living on a meager income to begin with but uh, yeah, all that uh, those cards, Carol. I uh, haven't used them all up yet, but they sure came in handy. Um, I have, I still have quite a few of them, um, and and some of them uh, they're just about uh, used up, and and some aren't even touched yet. So, but I can't quite eat that kind of food all the time. So I've I've had to try to cook a little bit. <laughs> so I appreciate the cards very much. They all helped greatly. Everything I I got was like helped tremendously so uh, anyway maybe I'll uh, hang up the camera for now and uh, I don't think I'm learning to relax enough yet to be on this end of the on this side of the camera I, I love it on the other side uh, and I I just can't get used to talking to the camera I have to kind of consider you guys are sitting out there behind the camera and I'm talking to you and I'm not getting any input <laughs> so uh, when you are on my uh, my my videos and and uh, my channel please give them a thumbs up on on uh, all the all the uh, videos and uh, subscribe if you haven't that uh, helps me tremendously it's it's not like I'm trying to make a million dollars through YouTube but it what it does is uh, inspire me to do things a little better um, like I said I'm not so much nervous it's just that when I'm sitting on this end of the camera and I'm talking my brain is going a thousand miles a minute and I can't get out what I'm trying to say and when I was younger I used to stutter and uh, stuttering is because your brain is actually speaking faster than you can say it so you stumble on the words that's why people stutter is because you're not stupid you're you're just thinking way faster than what you can talk and uh, I you just can't get it out but that 
uh, it just kind of grew out of that, I guess. Uh, it, it's not that I stutter now, but I hold back and I'm trying to think of the things to say, but uh, still it doesn't come fast enough, so I, I hold back and I hold back and I don't talk. So uh, it, it's hard to make one video all the way through without stopping and thinking about what you're going to say and then speaking some more and turn it back on and go go on again and, and, and again. So uh, I hope this turns out uh, the way I at least expected it to. So once again, I, I just want to reiterate that uh, I appreciate all of you very much, even though you may not think of me at all or too often, except when I put up a video or something, you might get a notification saying, hey, when you put out another video, let's go have a look at that. Uh, but I, I do actually think of you guys all the time. Uh, I, I have that quilt that I use uh, every night when I sleep. So it's just little things like that that uh, when I look at those things, I, I visualize all of you. Um, all of you have done something for me that is in my house here that when I look at it, and when I see it or a glimpse of it, because my home is not that big, <laughs> I can see to the back end, the front end, I can see everything except the things that are put away in the basement underneath. Or um, I actually still have way too much stuff, which I'm still learning to get rid of some things. So, but the off, off the uh, record again. I mean. Uh, I, it's, I'm losing train of thought here again, but um, I was saying that I do appreciate all of you very much, uh, and uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, subscribing and uh, watching my videos for whatever reason. Um, they're not the greatest. I mean, I, I know that, and uh, and I think all you know that too. They're they're not the greatest videos out there. And I'm not the most popular YouTube uh, person, uh, entity out there that people just love to watch. They're not flocking to my, uh, my channel to watch this. But um, if you see someone else that likes YouTube, just mention my King Tut Hut channel and, and, and uh, ask them if they would go and, and uh, subscribe and watch. Because, it, like I said, it, it helps me out to see that the numbers are going up and uh, hey what do you know people are actually watching my videos no matter how poorly they're done or uh, how I look or how I talk or anything like that uh, things will only get better as time goes on so I don't know how long this uh, video is gone now it's probably quite a while so I'm gonna put it up just the way it is unedited uh, and we'll, we'll send it out, and I hope you all enjoy it. And thanks for watching. See you all.